Okay, so you saw the thumbnail, you saw the title, you clicked on it. Yes, I am walking 112 miles uh, to go photograph Tom Segura and to do a big photo walk. Uh, what does that mean? Well, I'm going to see Tom Segura at the Key Bank Center in Buffalo, New York, which is about 112 miles away from me right now. That means I'm gonna be walking down this road and uh, taking photos along the way. It's gonna be a three day affair. And at the end of it, I'm hoping I get enough hype around this that Tom Segura sees it and is willing to allow me to take his portrait. Cause he is on my list of, I'm calling it the impossible portraits. And uh, it's gonna be a thing that we do here on the channel where I try and do these kind of ridiculous things in order to get people that I respect and appreciate and I wanna photograph to allow me to photograph them. And I figure if I put enough skin in the game, maybe there's a reason that they'll actually say yes. So I've been asked a bunch of questions because I put this out on my social saying this is something that I'm doing and a whole bunch of people have asked me about like various things about this. So, so I'm gonna go through some of those questions and answer them now, but I'm not gonna get hit by this car. So let's go to the left. You're right. So question number one, when is the actual event? So I'm gonna start walking on September 24th and be finished by the 26th so that I have all day of the 27th in Buffalo to be able to photograph. Along the way, I'm gonna be taking photos of everything I see. I'm gonna be documenting it all. I'm gonna be making a big video for this channel. A big sort of like vlog, travel-y kind of vibe. Uh, question number two, what is the route? What am I gonna be doing? So without doxing myself here, I'm gonna be going from my hometown, which is Baden, Ontario, uh, to Buffalo. So that means I'm gonna be walking along Highway 8 going all the way through uh, first night, hoping to get to Hamilton, Ontario, second night, St. Catharines, and the last night in Buffalo. Third question, so how long is it gonna take? How long am I gonna be walking every day? Well, uh, I'm gonna be doing about 60 kilometers a day, likely. So that works out to about five kilometers an hour, hopefully. It gives me enough time to kind of recuperate, edit some of the footage at night, and recharge batteries, recharge my battery. Uh, it also allows for lots of stops for photos and stuff like that, which is the kind of main goal of this, to, to take a lot of photos surrounding this entire trip. Wait for it. Who knew that many people lived out this way? We are rapidly losing light, so we'll do one or two more here and then we'll move inside. Okay, so it did in fact get too dark out there, which means that we're back in here and we are gonna focus in on a last few questions that I received when I uh, put in my last couple reels. So here it is. Uh, gear list, what am I gonna bring with me? Well, my main camera is going to be the R5, which is what I am shooting on right now. Uh, I'm gonna use that for all the photography and for a, a lot of the video clips, but not all of the video clips, which is where some of the other gear will come in. Uh, with that, I'm gonna be bringing a few lenses. I am definitely gonna be bringing the 35 1.8. Uh, I recently put out a video about why I love this lens, which is weird for me because I don't normally love 35s, but uh, this has just been a great all around lens for me. I am for sure gonna bring my 51.8 as well. Um, the name of the game is gonna be bringing small things with me because uh, having big, huge lenses is just not ideal because I have to carry it 100 and 12 miles. So that should be obvious. I should take a pause here to let you know that my partner is meeting me in Buffalo and she will be bringing some more photography gear with me. Now in the minuscule chance I actually get to photograph Tom Segura, I wanna make sure that I have some of the gear I need, lighting, that kind of stuff. The bulkier stuff that I obviously wouldn't walk with but would be great to have with me. And with that uh, is a lens that I, ha I don't own my buddy Tim owns it and he's lent it to me and I actually have to give it back to him, but I wanna see if maybe he'll let me have it again for this trip. It's this guy here, it's the uh, Samyang and or Rokinon 85 millimeter F1.4 autofocus RF lens. Uh, they don't make it anymore. Obviously, most people know that you can't actually uh, make a lens with autofocus for the RF mount because they have closed off third-party lenses, but uh, this is a beautiful lens that was put out before that was the case, and uh, if Tim will let me borrow it. Tim, you watch these videos. Can I borrow this, please? I should get it back to you in the meantime, though. So those will be my lenses along with the one I'm filming on right now, which is the uh, Canon EF 20 millimeter F 2.8. I got that lens recently and it's so much fun, very wide, but it's pretty cool. Uh, I really like it. And I think for some of the landscape stuff I'll be doing along the way with the walk and for some of the video, it'd be great. Speaking of video, 
my other main video camera is gonna be this guy here. This is the GoPro Hero 12 along with the Volta grip, uh, which is the little multi-function grip tripod thing. I'll be having this with me all day and using that for a lot of my clips, a lot of the vlog kind of stuff and um, attaching it to me in various ways so that you can see the photos I'm taking and things like that. One other camera potentially is this guy here. This is the Minolta X700, a film camera that I really love, um, but uh, I don't know if I want to bring a film camera with me. This is already going to be a very expensive endeavor and I'm not sure I want to add extra cost by taking like 300 photos with film and then having to develop all those. Although I'm sure Panda Plush would love me to do that. He's our local film developer here and he's amazing. Uh, but if I do bring it, I will definitely be bringing this uh, 28 millimeter f2.8 and the 50 mil 1.7 that I have for this. Both are awesome, awesome lenses. And uh, we'll see. Other stuff outside of that, um, an SSD, a uh, dongle reader thing for my iPad. I'm not gonna bring a laptop with me, but I do wanna have some way of capturing all of this footage and doing some editing on the way. And this is a really small lightweight setup that I like to use for that kind of thing. Um, I have a video out all about editing on an iPad you can check out, as well as why after one year I decided to ditch only using an iPad and, and, and get a laptop. Last on the sort of gear thing is, is this guy here. This is the pack we're gonna be using. You can't see me. It looks bigger than me, which is uh, perspective, friends. Um, okay, so this guy here, this is the Wandered, uh, I think this is a 31 liter Provoke bag. Uh, this wouldn't be my first choice necessarily, but it's the bag I have. So this is what I'm gonna use. What I do like about it is the straps are very, very comfortable. It does have like a, a waist belt apparatus, which is nice. It's got a place to like secretly store your uh, passport, which is awesome. That's really, really clutch. And it is, you know, waterproof and does a good job with all that. I, the reason I say it wouldn't be my first choice is I don't love the way you access the bag and I don't think it, the camera cube really holds quite enough. Overall, for what I'm gonna do, I think it'll work. And it is comfortable enough that I can use it for a full day and feel pretty good about it. This guy here, um, it's fine. Next question, outside of camera gear, what about like gear, like running gear and stuff like that? What am I gonna be bringing? The name of the game here is gonna be lightweight and uh, very packable. Uh, I'm pretty much gonna be living in the same clothing for a few days, but the whole idea is gonna be layers. So my main pants are gonna be these guys here. This is the Patagonia Terrabone Jogger, super lightweight, comfortable. Pretty warm, but also they keep you decently cool, which is nice too. We're gonna have a hat. I don't know if it'll be this one, but probably from this brand, CLA, it's a Canadian brand. Uh, if you run, you probably know this brand. Um, they make super lightweight, foldable, pack upable, easily washable hats. So these are gonna be great. I wear them in like 90% of the videos on here, so you've probably seen them. Toque of some sort, probably not my huge LA Dodgers hat, but you know, how can I not at least have this on for a second. It's been a while since I've gotten to wear a toque because it's been the middle of summer. Also, we say toque here in Canada. Uh, you might call it like a beanie or something. I don't know, what, I don't know what you guys call it. Toque is the right word. And I know that because it's consistently coldest here compared to the States, which means we get to pick the name of this. Uh, I'm gonna have a headlamp. This guy here is the Petzl um, something. I can't remember the name of it. It's one of their like bigger ones. Uh, lots of lumens, um, that'll be the main kind of thing I have. I don't plan on doing a lot of um, night or early, early morning walking, but I wanna be able to have something with me just in case. And then shoes, shoes is a big thing. Everyone wants to know about shoes. These are not the shoes I'll be wearing. I don't have the shoes I'm gonna be wearing yet. Uh, those come soon, but this is the brand. So this is a brand called Ultra. They make these shoes that are really nice and round at the front. They follow what's called like the natural kind of foot shaped toe box. Um, and then they are also a zero drop shoe, which means that there's no difference between the heel to the forefront uh, for most of their shoes. This one has a four millimeter drop, uh, which is a boring detail you don't care about. This is the brand that I'll be wearing. I work with them a lot. Um, I, I produce some videos and stuff for them, but I just, I absolutely love their shoes. I've, I work at a shoe store occasionally, and so I, I, I know enough about shoes to know what I like and what I don't, and this one for sure is, is gonna be clutch for me. The next kind of big question people have asked is about nutrition, what am I gonna be doing to fuel myself on this walk? Now, I come from a background of ultra running and like long, long distance endurance sports kind of stuff, so I'm pretty comfortable with this kind of thing. Also, I have a bit of a background in nutrition, and so I understand 
more or less where I need to go with this. The big thing to, to know about me when it comes to all this stuff is that I'm vegan. I'm, I'm totally plant-based and I have been for like 20 years. Uh, so this is going to be relative to, to that and how somebody else might approach it would be different. For me, um, when I would be, normally be doing some of my longer distance stuff, if I'm running, I would be doing things very differently than what I'm going to do for this trip. See, when I'm running, I would be using things like these. Like these are like little gels and bars and, and energy chews and shit like that. This is all really good because it's like high carbohydrate. There's like no protein, no fats. It's just sugar to basically keep you pushing through for a longer event. And that's awesome. However, this is not going to work so well. And the reason behind that is because I'm going to be doing things a lot slower. I'm going to be mainly walking, which means that my body is going to be mainly utilizing fat as its main fuel source. Um, because of that, I don't want to be overloading on carbohydrates. Uh, that's not going to do me any good. I want to be eating mostly real whole food. The road that I'm walking is going to be fairly simple for me to be able to drop in at random places like gas stations or restaurants or grocery stores and stuff to grab what I need. But overall, I'm just going to be looking for lightweight food that works well for me. Lots of water. I'm going to have the ability to bring with me at any point about two liters of water, which should get me through at least a few hours at a time, at which point I can stop and and you know refill my water bottles stuff like that also be bringing these with me salt tabs these are basically just electrolyte replenishment tabs they have like sodium potassium calcium and magnesium in them and they're just a good thing to keep me hydrated and help to make sure that i'm utilizing that hydration properly and that's most of the big questions people have asked uh, the last thing people want to know is where can they follow along is there any way they can help well for sure best bet is to head over to my instagram which is just chris Tea's photo and I'm going to be posting everything there. You'll see some reels that I've already posted there. And along the way each day, I'm going to be updating the entire time so that you can see what's going on and uh, everything that I am kind of trying to do in order to fulfill this big, silly, dumb dream of mine. So uh, yeah, in terms of how you can help, just follow along and uh, send good vibes. And if, uh, I don't know, I guess if you know Tom Segura, tell him I want to talk to him and take his portrait. All right, well, that's it. Uh, uh, go with God or whatever people say at the end of the videos. And thank you so much. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.